Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Joy. Welcome back to Joy's World. AK Marv produced it. back with another video this time a makeup tutorial i'm sure which a lot of people have been waiting for i don't do my things the usual way everybody does their stuff like i just do what works for me and that's one thing with makeup i do recommend for people that you have to learn it and then do what's best for you for your face type for everything because you might not if you necessarily follow everybody's makeup style you might end up looking like a uh, Ojuju Calabar, so yeah, it's best to just like learn and then figure out what's best for you. And I'm still doing that till now because there are sometimes I'll use a product that I've seen someone else use and it does not work for me at all. Hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial as much as I did, um, as much as I enjoyed making it. So uh, without further ado, let's get right into the video. So I'm starting with my CoverGirl Illuminating Skin Primer to just put all over my face to set my face for what we're about to do. Next up I'll be using my Anastasia Eye Primer. I'm just smudging that like really crazily all over my eyes because I know I'm still going to blend it in. I'm putting it after putting my primer because it's gonna help set my eye. Next up, I'll be using this brow brush and brow crayon to fill in my eyebrows to my desired shape. Thankfully, I didn't have to do too much because my friend already helped me to shape in my eyebrows nicely. As you can tell. <laughs> I'll be using my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Fawn to contour my eyebrows and to just make it into the perfect shape that I would like for this look. Using my pressed powder, I'm just going in to set the concealer which I just put all over my eyes to give it a really nice finish so my um, eyeshadow wouldn't be looking bumpy or you know crusty. So for this eyeshadow look, I actually did not plan anything down to actually do i just put my brush in my palette and picked out a color and actually just you know started placing it somewhere in my eyes so i usually love this kind of looks because when you don't plan them they always turn out you know better than you expect well not always but <laughs> this time it turned out better than i expected so i'm just placing my colors anywhere i felt like i so after placing my colors, I just made up my mind to do like a cut crease, which I'm doing here. I, I'm starting from that inner area of my eye, that inner corner of my eye, all the way to the outer corner, just, you know, to make that cut crease very prominent. And so that when I add the colors I'm going to put there, it'll, you know, pop out very well. So now I'm just using um, my banana powder, my Sasha Buttercup powder to set the um, cut crease. Remember when I said I was just freestyling this eye look? Yes, yeah, so I kind of figured this part of this eye look was a horrible idea after doing the first side. But I decided to go with it and just make it look the best. 
it could be. I don't know if you can tell by the way I'm looking very disorganized here but eyeliners are like my worst nightmares I don't know who else has this problem you know it's fun to have eyeliners on but to get it to the exact shape you want your eyeliners sometimes chooses to be you know distant cousins rather than sisters or twins at least so I guess this is the part of makeup that I'm still learning to do effortlessly Another nemesis of mine in makeup is false lashes. They're so beautiful like when you wear them but to put them on is like one of my biggest issues. I end up using my hands, you know those um, lash clip-ons don't work for me, like those lash clips don't work for me. So please don't mind me using my hands, just to use whatever tools you know you're comfortable with to get your lashes on. I use the setting spray on my brush to blend out my foundation. I just feel this will help my foundation to stay properly and actually set well. Going back in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Fawn, I am just put using that to highlight the areas under my eyes um, to give that swoop look so I could lift my face to also highlight my T-zones and the other parts of my face. So I've used my beauty blender to press a lot in however I still go in with my brush the same brush I used to like set my foundation in I still go in to just like patch up the remaining places that are that I couldn't get into with my beauty blender yeah whatever However it is, I'm just going to use the same beauty blender, that's a lot of powder, and press that into my skin. So we're technically, we're baking. <laughs> Just gonna follow whatever I'm just gonna put it all over my nose. I'll do the contour later. I'm gonna do that in this area of my face. For this part, I'm just using my regular powder to blend everything in so that there won't be any harsh lines left on my face.
I'm going in with my CoverGirl True Blend So Flush Blush, and I'm putting that all over my cheeks um, to just give it that really pinkish, cute look. Um, not maybe not too pink, but pink enough to be noticed. I'm going in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Fawn, the same one I used as before. I'm just using it to remove any lipstick smudges around the corners of my lips and to give my lips that pouty look. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the finished look. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It's Joy's World and it's Peace Peace.